What's going on everybody? James Paul Shepard from Filmcore Digital and today we're doing the flash effect in DaVinci Resolve 17. Let's get into it. Now that we have DaVinci Resolve open, want to grab your clean plate so scrub through that should be long enough that was I on the keyboard for an endpoint and O on the keyboard for an out point we're just gonna grab the footage because we don't need the audio so you can open that back up and we're gonna do the same thing to where our footage Starts I on that keyboard, and we're going to stop right there and hit an O on the keyboard for an out point. And then again, we're just going to drag the footage down. We don't need the audio for this. You don't want to drag this one to the front of the timeline, we need some room to move some stuff around. So, once you have your footage on the timeline, you want to bring in your lightning. Now I'm using the lightning from Film Learning. Um, they have a free pack of lightning effects. It's really awesome. Go check his channel out. The link is in the description below. Now you want to change your lightning composite mode to screen. So we can see what we're doing. Alright. So now you just want to tap over so you want to make sure the lightning and the footage is lined up with each other. I just want to bring the lightning up just a little bit on the y-axis. We're just going to move it up a little. Now that that's lined up, go ahead and cut off these two off the front. We're going to drag this up a little bit because we're going to need uh, we're going to need some space here. So now that you have your first clip lined up with the lightning right where the lightning starts see right there so now what you want to do is you want to keyframe or you want to key over one frame and then you're going to cut your footage here drag it up and just slide the footage over until you're lined back up with the lightning that looks good there so we're going to cut this off here and then you're going to go over a frame again, cut it there, bring it up, slide over until you're lined up again, cut off the front there to clean it up. We're going to drag this up one more because I think we might have one more. How many times that you move your footage is going to be based on your footage so we're gonna cut it there and then about right there all right so we're gonna cut that off there clean that up so again depending on how many what your clip looks like it, your cuts will be based on that it's just, just remember that you want to line your footage up to the lightning, not the lightning up to the footage. So let's key through there. There we go. So now go ahead and turn off the lightning layer. And you want to take your first clip and we're going to open it up in Fusion. All right, now that we have Fusion open, you want to shift space and you want to grab a directional blur. Make sure it's the effects directional blur and not the other one. So now that we have that, you want to grab on the directional blur, you want to attach a polygon. And then just go ahead and key around your subject it doesn't have to be perfect because it's going to be blurred out and 
the opacity is going to be lowered in a little bit. So just a nice key around it. All right. So we're going to soften those edges up a little bit. And then you're going to click on your directional blur. And you want to make sure that the angle of the blur is going in the direction that the subject is running. And then we're just going to strengthen that up a little bit. And there we go. We got that one set up. So we're going to go over to your second one. And we're going to take it into Fusion also. And we're going to do the same thing. So we're going to shift space, directional blur. Make sure it's the correct directional blur. If you do the other one, the effect, it doesn't work. So make sure it's that one. Bring it in. Grab a poly. Slap it over it. Let's go ahead and mask it out here. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. Soften up the edges a little bit. Back on the directional. Make sure the blur angle is in the direction that he's going. Increase the strength a little bit. Back over. So now this next one, I'm going to just move through quickly because it's the exact same steps. So I'm just going to go through it real quick. All right. So we've got those set up. So if we turn our lightning back on, we can get an idea of what it looks like here. All right. On your first clip, you want to lower the opacity down to 75. On your second clip, you want to lower the opacity down 85. And then on the third clip, you want to lower the opacity to 95. Now you want to bring in your audio. Um, you can use any audio file that you find for the uh, lightning effect, but in the description and the link from Film Learning, they have these two audios in there as well. So we do the run audio. You just want to line it up where all right lines up perfect right there now you can also play around with it um you can add other sparks in here so i mean you can mess around with it and everything but that is how you do the flash effect in davinci resolve so real quick um at the beginning of my video there was red lightning so a quick way to do that is to bring it into fusion Shift space, color corrector, and then over here you can change it to any color that you want, whatever color works for your scene. So now you just want to just clean it up a little bit, however, you want to about right there. We'll clean the end up and this is what we have and that's the flash effect in DaVinci Resolve now if you like this video hit that thumbs up and if you want to see more videos like this click the subscribe and turn on notifications leave a comment below on what effect you want to learn how to do and as always thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one